In the first video, we looked at where the binomial theorem comes from, what it looks like. We're going to look at some applications of the bin using the binomial theorem now. So let's get started. I've copied the binomial theorem there at the top right just for quick reference, but by, you should know it off by heart eventually. The first one we've got is the binomial 2x minus 3 to the power 4. Now, if we want to expand this binomial, we know the power is 4, so we already know there's going to be 5 terms, so we can use that as a check. But just take note, if I've got a minus there, the binomial theorem is set up for the addition of 2 terms. So just look at it as the addition of minus 3 to the power 4. Then we can use the binomial theorem, which says that's the sum when r goes from 0 to 4 of 4CRR. 2x to the power 4 minus r times minus 3 to the power r. Now, when we look at minus 3 to the power r, we just need to be careful with that minus because it causes trouble sometimes. So, when we have the binomial theorem written in this way, the expansion of this binomial, let's tidy it up before we actually start writing out my five terms. That's the R goes from 0 to 4. Now, when I say tidy it up, I mean, let's get all the numbers together and all the variables together. The first number I have here is the 4CR part. Then I've got a 2. Now, it's 2X to the power 4 minus R. So that means it's 2 to the power 4 minus R times X to the power 4 minus R. I'll put the X at the end. We want to get all the numbers together. You have a minus 3 to the power R. So you can look at it in minus, as minus 3 to the power r, or you can look at it as minus 1 times 3 to the power r. I'm going to write it like that, because later it comes in handy to remember that a minus is related to minus 1, can be seen as minus 1. So there we go. Those are all my, this will together make up the coefficient of every term. And how many x's are there? 4 minus r. Now we can write out all our terms and the number of steps you use. It's not so important as long as you don't miss anything. So my first one, I'm using this sigma notation. I'm using the sum. I'm counting the r from 0 to 4, so I don't write the sum anymore. So that's 4c naught. r is now naught. 2 to the power 4 minus naught. Minus 1 to the power naught. I'm not going to write that because that's just 1. 3 to the power naught. I'm not going to write that. That's just 1. x to the power 4 minus naught. That's my first term. Then I've got 4c1. 2 to the power, this is multiplied by, 2 to the power 4 minus 1. So it's 2 to the power 3. Minus 1 to the power 1. That's minus 1. 3 to the power 1. I can write it as 3 to the power 1 or just 3. Multiplying all those terms, how many x's do I have? 4 minus 1, x to the power 3. So that's my two second term. My third term, 4c2. 2 to the power 4 minus 2, which is 2. Minus 1 to the power 2. I'm going to write it, but just remember, minus 1 squared is plus 1. And 3 to the power 2. Those are the first three terms. Let's carry on. Plus 4c3. 2 to the power 4 minus 3, so it's 2 to the power 1, minus 1 to the power 3. Oh, I forgot the x here. x to the power 4 minus 2, so it's x to the power 2. 4c3, 2 to the power 1, minus 1 to the power 3, times 3 to the power r, which is 3, times x to the power 4 minus 3, which is x to the power 1. And my last term, 4c4 times 2 to the power naught, don't have to write it, that's 1, times minus 1 to the power 4, which is going to be give me plus 1, times 3 to the power 4, times x to the power naught, which I'm not going to write, that's just 1. Now, you can do these calculations in your head, you can do them by hand, you can do them with a calculator, that's not so important, it's just that you get to the numbers. So my first term is going to be 4c0 two times 2 to the power 4. That gives me 
16x to the power 4. And you can check that. Please do. The next one is x to the power 3, that whole coefficient. It's going to be a minus. So watch out for that. This minus 1 is leading this term to be a minus. And I'm going to get 96x cubed. Minus 1 squared, so I'm going to have a plus. What is this coefficient going to be? If I multiply all of that out, I get 216x squared. Fourth term, I'm going to have a minus again. 4c3 times 2 times 3 to the power 3, you should get 216x to the power 1. And the last term, it's going to be a plus, and I get 81. All right, so check these calculations with your calculator to make sure you get to it. So even though we established there's a pattern in the coefficients of a plus b to the power n, if as soon as I've got terms that are not just with coefficient 1, the pattern, these, my final answer doesn't have a nice pattern. But it, the pattern comes out in using the binomial theorem. So there we've expanded 2x minus 3, minus 3 to the power 4. All right, next one. We've got 1 over x minus 3x squared to the power 5. This is now looking even different, more different. We're going to do this one. Now, this is the last one I'm going to expand totally. After that, the next questions I'm going to look at is just looking for specific terms, which is less effort, but also testing the binomial theorem. So let's take a look. I've got this binomial to the power 5. My theorem tells me that's r going from 0 to 5 of 5cr. My first term is 1 over x to the power 5 minus r. My second term is minus 3x squared to the power r. Now we need to tidy this up. This is r going from 0 to 5, 5cr. We haven't changed that. This gives me, wait, let's first look at our coefficients. Here I've got a 1. Now, 1 to any power is just 1. We're not going to worry about that. I've got a minus 3 here. So I can have that as minus 1 to the power r times 3 to the power r. So that's my coefficient. Now, let's look at the x's. In this part, I've got x to the 1 over x to the power 5 minus r. So that means it's x to the power minus 5 plus r because it's x to the power minus 1 and we multiply exponents. Here, I've got x to the power 2r. So I'm going to combine those two. Why do I need two x's? They're going to come together. So that gives me the sum when r goes from 0 to 5 of 5cr minus 1 to the power r times 3 to the power r times x to the power. If I add my exponents, I get 3r minus 5. And now we can use the binomial theorem and substitute r equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into this whole thing. You can write that out and see what it looks like. I'll tell you where you should end up. You're going to end up with x to the power minus 5 or 1 over x to the power 5. Minus 15 over x squared plus 90x minus 270x to the power 4 plus 408x to the power 7 minus 2, 4, 3, x to the power 10. We've got, count the terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. We're happy with that. You must just go fill in these missing steps and make sure you get to this final answer. So in the final video, we're going to be looking at asking just for specific terms, some more applications of the binomial theorem.